Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. In the previous stage, we have already seen major concepts related to placement and in previous video, we have seen the concept of cell density calculation for placement. In this video, we shall learn about pin density of standard cells. So without any delay, let us get started. We discussed earlier that if cell density packing is high, then it might be possible that routing engine will face congestion while doing the routing for the cells because cells would have consumed lower routing resources. Hence, lesser tracks would be available for routing wherever the cell density is high. This point is very important to understand and now let us see standard cell layout first. These are the side rows where the cells will be placed and dotted line represents the track. And in this layout, pin A and Q are visible to router for hooking up the signal from there onwards for routing. And rest of the layout is inside the standard cell which would have consumed some of the lower routing resources. Hence in this case, router can easily access the pin and create the routing properly. So let's say if you want to create a routing for Q pin in M2 layer, you can use this track directly and there is no obstruction here. Now let us assume if there is some more cell sitting nearby, then it is possible that tool will not be able to simply root like earlier case and it will have some detour in the net and that detour means there is an extra effort if there are more and more cells nearby then router has to detour more and more and that is an extra computational effort so in this case cells are nearby you can see that and hence it is possible that there can be congestion because of it also, we have not discussed the case that we have so many other cells nearby, which also needs the routing and hence not only cell density is increasing, but there are additional number of cells which have pin. So pin density is also increasing for routing. If you observed, then we only discussed the case where the inverters are placed. Now let us assume that there's a flop in your design. So if you can see the flop has so many pins here in this case, it has four pins. This is Q and that is Q bar and one is clock pin and one is your data pin. There can be one more kind of flop where it is a scannable flop. So if it is a scannable flop, you will have additional number of pins such as your scan input pin and your scan enable pin and it could be scan output pin. So these are additional pins which gets added with respect to your this design. So here you can see that there are seven pins. So there are four pins here, seven pins in this case. And if we talk about buffers, it had only two pins and that we were discussing previously. But let's say if you have an AND or invert signal. So if you have a combinational cell, which is AND or invert. So the logic will be something like this. This will be AND and after that there will be OR and after that there will be inverter. So uh, this and or inverter and and then or and then there is an inverter followed by it. So this kind of signal will have more number of pins than even your sequential logic cell. So this was your sequential cell. This is register. It, it had seven pins. Maybe it is possible that AOI can be of 10 pins or even eight or somewhere in the range of eight to or more. It, it depends on the technology and then there are register bank arrays. So if you have register arrays in your design or you can say that multi bit registers. So if you have multi bit registers in the design, then it will be having a lot more pins than this and the size of the cell also will be very big. So because that will have not just one register where the seven pins are there, it could be possible that it will be a bit, uh, it will be a bus of eight such registers minimum at least. So let's say if it is eight bit register array, then such eight cells will be there. So obviously there will be lot of pins and size also will be very big. So in that particular case, number of pins also in a given area will increase. And that is what leads to the high pin density. So the cause of high pin density is generally AOI cell, OAI cell or multi-bit registers, register arrays. These are the high pin density count cells. And the recommendation is not to have so many register arrays or so many high pin density count cells together because that can lead 
to the pin accessibility problem in the design and that will lead to routing congestion later. And pin density map also looks like very similar to the cell density map. It is also a heat map where red means you can have congestion and green means you are good to go. That is all for this video. We will come up with more concepts in further videos. Please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.